Let us take a look at the revelation God gave us in the book of Revelation chapter 21. Chapter 21, verse 5. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, Write this down, for these words are, How are they? Trustworthy and true. It is written that these words contain no lies. Let us continue with verse 6. He said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To him who is thirsty I will give to drink without cost from the spring of the water of life. He who overcomes will inherit all this, and I will be his God, and he will be my son. The Bible tells us that the one who gives the spring of the water of life without cost to us who are thirsty will be our God and we will become his children. Then, who will give us the spring of the water of life? Let us turn to Revelation chapter 22, verse 17. The Spirit and the bride say, Come, and let him who hears say, Come. Whoever is thirsty, let him come. And whoever wishes, let him take the free gift of the water of life. According to Revelation chapter 21 that we have just read, who gives us the water of life? The one who gives the water of life proclaimed, I will be their God and they will be my children. In Revelation chapter 22, verse 17, we've seen that not only God the Father alone gives us the water of life, but the bride, the wife of the Lamb, too, gives us the water of life. We have confirmed that the Spirit and the bride, together, give the water of life to all mankind. Isn't the water of life the special grace and the gift that God grants to all mankind? It is God who gives this gift. In Revelation chapter 22, verse 17, we can understand that there is not only God the Holy Spirit, but also God the Mother, the Bride. In the wedding system of the earth, there must be a bridegroom and a bride. Likewise, the Bible clearly enlightens us that there is Christ, the Lamb, who is the Bridegroom, and New Jerusalem Heavenly Mother, who is the Bride and the Wife of the Lamb. We can confirm that a church that has this truth is governed by God and is ruled by God. Thus, in Matthew chapter 22, who taught us about the Bride, the wife of the Lamb. Jesus taught us this truth. According to the Trinity, Jesus is our Father in terms of the family system. Father taught us about Mother through the parable of the heavenly wedding banquet. Since many people do not understand this, God emphasized the matter about God the Mother once again by giving a revelation to John. Father An Sang Hong is the one who taught us about Mother. 